is the media chat room where the celebrity headlines are talking. Now, Chatty Patty lovers, y'all know we've been covering this Drake and Kendrick beef heavy. Although the official beef is over, we still have more information to cover. It's an interview with Cooley Bravo, who is in the camp of Kendrick Lamar. And he was serving out all the information as to what was going on behind the scenes with the diss. He talks about his exact role with Kendrick Lamar, what happened behind the scenes to actually cause the diss to end, the approach Kendrick took in responding to the diss, how exactly this whole beef started and what pushed Kendrick over the edge to make him not really like Drake. How Kendrick actually knows about Drake's 11 year old daughter. How he played Drake for $150,000 giving him fake information on Kendrick and Whitney and so much more. Now Chatty Patty, this is a long interview, but I promise you it's very entertaining and worth a listen. So I had to put my little I Spy game to the side. But Chatty Patty, don't you worry because you know I'm going to definitely circle back to it. But meantime, in between time, you need to go ahead and listen to this interview. And also pay attention to your device screen because I've included pictures and videos of everything they mentioned. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. But first, I'm going to need you to like and share this video with everyone that you know. Then subscribe to the channel so that you can become an official Chatty Patty lover. And I promise you're going to love it here. And last but not least, turn on your notification bell so that you know when we drop our next video or go live. So let's go ahead and get into all the tea with Cooley Bravo. You, uh, can you speak on the 150k uh, Drake put out for the info? Oh hell yeah, that ain't discreet. I can talk about this shit. Let's, let's, oh I like these conversations. This is street shit. Okay, let me tell you about <laughs> This bitch nigga, Drake sent some nigga to Atlanta not knowing, see this, this, and this is why I say Kendrick fucked him up. At Kendrick Power trickled down to me. He tried to come down here and get some money for information on Kendrick. Now, mind you, I can't get no information on Kendrick because I'm only tied to his his friend named L. L is actually on the timeline with us. L got less followers than me. People are so dumb, they don't realize it's people with like 100 followers or like 5k followers that's it's actually like re related to this nigga. His sister is on fucking Twitter. All of us are on Twitter. They just looking at me because I got so many followers. I said, bro, y'all niggas don't really understand what's happening. So they come to me. They try to get one of my little homies um, 150k. They try to get him 100k, right? So I say, what they asking for? They say they want to know something about Kendrick. I said, Kendrick ain't from Atlanta or fucking Chicago. So what What the fuck are they asking? They said, what do you know about that? What did you know about Whitney and all that shit? And I said, Whitney who? My girl? I said, because my girl named Whitney. They said, no, Kendrick, Kendrick girl. I said, Whitney is up there with him. Now, mind you, that's a bombshell. They don't know that. Drake talking all that shit about why you live in why you live in New York. I said, oh, they stupid. I said, take the money. I'm gonna tell them a lie. <laughs> so I took the hundred. I said, matter of fact, on top of that, I said, tell them put the 50k on it, and I'll tell them where they at. I told them Kendrick was in fucking LA still. They gave me the money, and I gave 50k to my and they was like, oh. We got it. And it was like, why you in the next song? What was that song? Um what song? Family Ties came out. And I we laughed. And I said, that nigga stupid. So while Drake was talking about bait and all this shit, and you got your money and you ain't even getting nothing. <laughs> I was like, you didn't get no information, you dumbass. But I couldn't say it. I that reverse even... mole shit did was so corny that was so corny that was so fake come on drake is dumb bro I said, this nigga, <laughs> he is so stupid they gave me the i said give me 50 more k and i'll tell you something i said okay um they in la right now mind you whitney and fucking kendrick is in new york at the time that he ain't street he doesn't he doesn't he ain't street he doesn't know this shit He's getting played. Exactly. He a Canadian trying to get information from black Americans from the hood. Don't right? know nothing about this violence. Nah, that, he, got, he got extorted. That, that was stupid. That's why I was talking crazy on the timeline the other day. I said, I got this. I got 150 bands for nothing. And that's what Kendrick said. You came back with no receipts. 
I said, exactly, you, you fucking stupid. You didn't even know he was talking to, dummy. You fucking idiot. You gave me 150 bet. I should have asked for 200. But that nigga put family ties out and then, and then Kendra smoked his ass. I was like, well, that's what you get for trying to. He said, you try to put money in the streets and you came back with no receipts. I said, exactly. <laughs> I said, you stupid ass. He's fucking. The first time he's done that because it backfired with Pusha too. This nigga learned from his mistakes, clearly. Chad Pat, it's just time to get in those comments. Give me all your thoughts and opinions on this interview. There's so much to talk about, so you know I'm going to be in those comments. And before you go, do me a huge favor and like and share this video with everyone that you know. Then subscribe to the channel so that you can become an official Chatty Patty lover. And I promise, you're going to love it here. And last but not least, turn on your notification bell so that you know when we drop our next video or go live. Now, Chatty Patty, you already know how I do. I'm headed straight to the comments to see what you have to say. Then it's back to scrubbing the headlines so I can bring you another video. So that's all for now. Until next time. Bye-bye.